So I found out about this particular, um, I think it's a show, maybe on Netflix or a movie or whatever. Now I can't remember. Well, one or the other. I found out about this today um, and I had not heard about it. So I went to look up what it was about and they said it was about vampires. So immediately I was like, okay, I'm down for this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and check this out now. Yeah, do some vampire diaries. Oh, it's friends. Mm. Oh. Is that a nightmare scene, maybe? Okay, well, okay, let's see. Let me press play. Okay, December 5th. Now, I'm, I'm super curious to find out now if this is a... Hmm. Shoot, I'm trying to see if it says it's a series. Um, shoot, I... I want to say it was a, it's a series, but I'm, I'm second-guessing myself now. That was my impression when I looked it up just to search and find out what it was about. And as I'm watching this trailer, I'm sitting here wondering, it looks like there is a bunch of stuff that's going to be happening in this, uh, in this story. And how can they pull it off in just a movie, in just one movie? So I'm still geared toward thinking it's a series. Um, the trailer itself, though, was quite short for a typical series trailer. In my opinion, it clocks in at under a minute 46 seconds. So in that regard, it was done really well. It was tightly woven. Uh, it, it was very efficient in moving the narrative along. I don't feel like it wasted time. I don't feel like it showed us anything that was um, super unnecessary. It sets up the premise for us. I'm intrigued by this uh this whole uh, type of so story slash situation, the conflict that is going on with this main guy and his good friend. And, you know, when you've got two characters that are friends or had been friends and there is some conflict between them that can turn deadly, very bad conflict, to me that's always a super interesting and compelling um narrative or a, a compelling stage for a story because you are you know you feel bad for these two people especially for the main guy who's uh you know presented as the good guy in this scenario even though you sort of can understand the situation that the other guy is in and he doesn't view himself as a bad guy he just wants to live right so I, I uh, find that very um, compelling and I'm really curious to find out how this situation gets resolved between these two characters and I'm hoping, you know, you, you sit here, well I do anyway, 
when I watch things like this and I see there's this big rift that has occurred between characters who um, care for each other in whatever capacity, whether it's friendship or something more than friendship, you know, and, and they've got this wedge between them. It's probably one of the reasons why I like, well, it's probably one of the reasons why Captain America Winter Soldier is my very favorite Marvel film out of all of them. I like almost all of them with the exception of Captain Marvel, which I can't stand. But out of almost all of the, the Marvel movies, which I like almost all of them, the Winter Soldier has always been number one for me ever since I saw it. And I don't know how much of it is because it was such a huge improvement over the first Captain America or because, well, it's definitely a very good story. Very well written, well acted. The action is awesome. The storyline flows very easily. And, uh, but that element that I really like about it is the story of Steve Rogers and Bucky and this thing that happens that has driven them apart and how throughout the course of this movie, despite all this conflict that they're going through, they find a way to come back together again and to unite as friends again. And to me, that's such a powerful story and I've just always loved it so much. And that's probably part of the reason why this is a story that interests me a lot and comes out in just a few weeks. I'll definitely be watching it, whether it's a series or whether it's a movie. And, you know, if, if I like it good enough, I'll probably come back and maybe make a video review of it. So um, I think that's that's all I can can think of to mention at the moment, oh, with the exception of, let's say, the, the, the people who are in this, um, who were in this trailer, the only person I recognized offhand is the main dude, Ian Summerholder, or whatever his name is. I remembered when I looked this up that I saw his name as the, um, as being in the cast, and then, then when I got around to watching it, I, it kind of slipped my mind until I saw him again. But I think it's interesting that he's in this vampire story when he was one of the main characters in The Vampire Diaries. He was actually my favorite character in The Vampire Diaries when I was watching it, which that's another one of the many shows that I got away from watching on a regular basis and got, you know, several um, seasons behind, lost interest because it just kind of got a little bit I don't know, the, the storylines got kind of ridiculous. I, I got tired of the silly romance thing, um, which it started off being, but it wasn't too bad in the first season. But my favorite character has, was always his character because he was freaking hilarious. And uh, I, I really liked how he was written. He was like an anti-hero type, which I like anti-hero characters. Bucky slash the Winter Soldier is like an anti-hero character, or he was in the Winter Soldier anyway. So, um, which is probably another reason why it's my favorite. Um, so, okay. Yeah, I, I believe that's it for this one. And I'm going to wrap it up later, guys. Bye.